scenes like this seem to dominate television newsrooms and newspaper headlines when they occur statistics show that sixty to eighty percent of all aircraft accidents are caused by human error unfortunately airspace like our freeways is becoming crowded a new nasa flight simulation laboratory called the manned vehicle systems research facility at the ames research center is addressing human factors issues which relate to pilot and crew performance errors the facility in mountain view california houses the most realistic commercial transport boeing 727 aircraft simulation system in the world as well as an advanced simulator being used to test and develop the cockpits of the next generation commercial aircraft Facility manager Bob Shiner talks about the Boeing 727 CAD. To do human factors, we found that we have to create a, a full mission environment. We have to give the pilot exactly the same, the same scenario he's exposed to in the real world. Otherwise, he believes he's in a simulator, in a box. But if we provide all the cues that he finds in the real world, then we found that he'll behave the same way psychologically. And that's what we're studying. Fire! Central, check. Okay, 701, uh, we're declaring an emergency at this time. We'd like our immediate right down when we're climbing to 2000. We're going to, may need to dump fuel. We'll be back with you in a second. Now, 701, right here, the uh, lights are approved. And Professional air traffic controllers and pilots yeah, sit at consoles in the facility Oliver, number and provide okay, a realistic flight environment for you guys the pilot and crew in the simulator. Fire. For later study, video cameras and voice recorders document the physical behavior of the pilot and other participants in the simulation. The principal investigator can monitor every aspect of the simulation, from instrument settings to tracking the pilot's eye movements. Topics such as wind shear, pilot workload, jet lag, and fatigue are currently slated for study. Senior scientist Dr. Charles Billings. The fire, uh, or indeed any other malfunction, is simply a way of causing the pilot to have to do some sort of decision making and some sort of behavior that he does not normally have to do in the course of routine flying. And it's the mechanisms of that behavior that we are really studying to try to help him and uh, all flight crew members do a better job of decision making under difficult circumstances. V1, rotate. The advanced concept There's simulator is a tool for designing the cockpits of the future. The hope is to replace many of the switches and dials found in today's aircraft with less cluttered instrument panels that are easier to use and can monitor aircraft functions better. Flaps the manned vehicle systems research facility, solving in-flight human factors problems have to take without leaving the ground. 